This video uncovers the pros and cons of grow watt inverters to help you make a confident decision on which solar inverter is best for your home or business. So Larry, tell us a little bit about GrowWatt. Sure, Warren. So GrowWatt is a company that's located in China. Okay. They're the number one residential inverter company in the world and number four overall. And they have about 20 gigawatts of manufacturing capacity, which is, which is pretty significant. Okay. So what's, what's great about GrowWatt? So some of the things that are really cool about the GrowWatt inverter that I like, I mean, first of all, they're number one residential inverter company in the world, so that they're doing something right. Sure. And just for our customers, our, 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 our users, so just because they're residential, we can still use them for commercial projects. Okay. Residential basically means it's for single phase systems. Okay. So we yep. use some larger single phase systems for our commercial clients on farms and things like that. And we still use a residential inverter for that. So number one residential inverter in the world. They have various inverter sizes. So all the way from three KW to 11.4, a lot of variation in between there, which gives us a lot of flexibility. Like if we want to hit a specific transformer size, like 25 kVA, 15 kVA, we have a lot of flexibility there, which is which is really cool. Um, their inverters are pretty efficient. They're typically between 97, 98 percent efficient, which is which is really good. They have they typically have three to four maximum power point trackers. Okay. So that means that I can have if there's four trackers, I can have different string lengths, orientations, and tilts on each tracker. So a lot of flexibility there. They have a two to one DC AC sizing ratio. So if I have an 11.4 kW inverter, I can put all the way up to like 22.8 kW DC on that inverter if I want to, if I really want to max it out. They have an integrated RGM, they have a revenue grade meter that's integrated in the inverter. Um, they're very reasonably priced. Uh, you can extend the warranty up to 20 years, uh, good monitoring platform. And then another cool thing, which we don't really use a lot, is it's a hybrid inverter. It can work for both batteries and solar. Okay. So you kind of get that automatically with their inverter, whether you want it or not, but at least you're kind of future proof if you do batteries in the future. Great. So then what are some of the cons? Some of the cons, I mean, they're a Chinese company. Right. Um, and some of our customers don't like that. And, and I understand why, why that is, uh, but it is what it is. They make a great, a great product. Currently, they have manufacturing in China and Vietnam. Um, I'm hopeful that they'll have U.S. manufacturing at some point. I mean, all the incentives around U.S. manufacturing right now, I think that they're going to move that direction at some point. They're not there that I'm aware of. The only other con that I can think of is that their warranty extensions are a bit pricey. Okay. So if you want to go from their standard 10-year to either 15 or 20, it's fairly expensive for that extended inverter warranty. Great. So just to summarize, Chinese-based company, really flexible, reasonably priced inverters that are flexible in terms of design mm -hmm. uh, and can be used across really all single phase use cases, residential, small commercial, any single phase application. Uh, but the downside is they are a Chinese company and the whatever issues come along with that and that the warranties themselves are a little pricey to extend and the uh, warranty that comes with it. Yeah, and I was I was really excited when I saw this inverter and saw what it can do. And now that we're getting some in, some experience monitoring and with the product, we're we're liking it pretty good. It's a pretty neat product. Have we had any? What's our experience been with support? Support so far has been good. Now we just have a very small use case. We only have maybe two or three projects out there with this product. We have a number of projects that are designed that we're going to be installing over the coming months. So it's limited, but what we've experienced so far is pretty good. What about U.S. manufacturing? Are they planning on complying with the domestic content requirements? Yes, I mentioned that just briefly. At this time, they don't have U.S. manufacturing. They are hoping to move to that at some point, so maybe in the future. Again, I'm, I'm optimistic that they're going to have something there at some point. Okay, and then how do they compare to other string inverters that we offer? I would say pretty well. I mean, they're they're right up there with all the leading inverters in efficiency, design flexibility, monitoring. Um, in my opinion, they lead in the realm of having multiple inverter sizes to choose from, uh, options in that regard. Really, the only critique that I would have of them is that they only offer, there'd be two things, that they only offer the 20-year warranty. Yeah. A lot of string inverters nowadays have moved to offering a 25-year extension. 
um, which is kind of becoming the industry standard. So that's one thing. And then, like I mentioned before, their, their inverter extensions are, are pricey. And then who should consider GrowWatch? I think definitely any ground mount. Okay. Um, so we haven't used their inverter with module level power electronics, which, okay. is, which is necessary for a roof mount for rapid shutdown. Yeah. But I would definitely recommend them for any single phase uh, roof, uh, ground mount at this point. Just in summary, great option for single phase ground mounts. They're flexible in terms of design and uh, they, they do come from China. Uh, no domestic manufacturing options at this time, possibly in the future. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks, Larry. We'd love to hear from you. Let us know what you think the pros and cons of GrowWatt inverters are. Leave your comment below. And also, if you want to watch our top solar inverter video of 2024, we'll link that in the description below as well.